brain science. What? <laughs> what brain science? What is that? And how can you use brain science to learn music anywhere, even if you don't have an instrument? Well, I hope you got a cup of coffee because you're about to find out. Brain science, that's a great word. My name is Glory St. Germain from Ultimate Music Theory. And my very special guest today is Andrew Cohen, the founder and CEO of Brainscape, a web-based mobile platform that is optimizing the learning process for millions of students and professionals. And welcome, Andrew. Good to be here. How are you doing, Glory? I'm excellent. Now, Andrew, I understand that Brainscape originated actually as a personal project for you, right? In helping you study foreign languages. Um, what were sort of some of the challenges? Because, you know, there's a lot of uh, music educators on here and we are always trying to, you know, learn faster and we always have challenges in learning. So what was some of the challenges for you that you experienced as a student in trying to remember <laughs> all those details and learning and studying for exams? <laughs> Well, I wish I had Brainscape when I was a student. Uh, it actually started when I was working in the World Bank in Panama in 2006 on a controversial anti-corruption project with the government. And I had to just get really good at Spanish. I was being interviewed on TV for these wow. controversial corruption uh, initiatives and pausing and staring at the screen to conjugate verbs in my head or remember a word. Uh, and so I, I created a giant Excel spreadsheet with just all the words and phrases and things that I needed to learn. And knowing Excel programming at the time, uh, I, I created a macro, kind of a program to quiz me in a pattern that just felt right for me, where the, you know, the hard words came up more often, the easy words less so. Um, and the, the pattern just worked so well for me that so, several of my friends started asking, you know, can I have your spreadsheet? For learning either Spanish or English, I'll put in my own concepts, and then this spreadsheet went viral at the University of Panama over email for people using it for biology and uh, public administration classes. So it was it was enough to, to motivate me to go get my master's degree in education technology and cognitive science, uh, and uh, start experiencing both the challenges of uh, of academia and really bringing these these concepts to life, but then also the challenges of, uh, of running a startup, which is uh, whole new skill set that yeah. I've been exposed to over the last decade. Yeah, that's that's a fantastic. And thank goodness that you had that challenge because you're actually saving us a, a lot of frustration. And um, if you're a music teacher, if you've joined us uh, or an educator, a musician, or you're just interested in brain science, uh, maybe just type in our chat box, brain science, and we'll know you're with us today and, and enjoying a cup of coffee and chatting with Andrew and I. Um, I know that we've got a lot of music teachers and students and, and educators, including our Ultimate Music Theory certified teachers listening today. And I think we're all a little curious, Andrew, about your definition of brain science. Could you just elaborate a little on that? Sure, well, brain science being a, a very broad topic, um, the, the part that Brainscape really focuses on is cognitive science or learning sciences, and particularly the principles of metacognition, uh, active recall, and, and space repetition. So what that means kind of in English, metacognition yeah. is thinking about your own thinking, and uh, in our case, reflecting on how well do I really know this concept. And so in Brainscape, whenever you see an answer to a flashcard, uh, you're asked on a scale of one through five, how well did you know this? So we're, we're trusting the user. You don't have to pick from multiple choice or matching, which actually is just, it's just recognition. It's not as, as good of a study tactic. So you're, you're actively recalling it by just thinking of the answer and flipping the card. And then you rate your confidence. So that, that metacognition, it deepens the memory trace, number one, by, by forcing you to really think about your learning. But then we use that information to determine the optimal interval of spacing when you should see that concept next. Uh, and it turns out that, you know, we can have all the mnemonic devices in the world, all the other, you know, memorization techniques that we might learn, you know, in elementary school, but the interval of time between the repetition is the single most important factor in how well you're gonna remember a piece of information. And so what Brainscape does is we break all the concepts down into their atomic building blocks. And in a foreign language, it might be vocab or verb conjugation, you're learning bartending, it might be cocktail recipes or facts about wine. But in, in music's case, you know, there's learning an instrument, yes, it's a really broad, um, a broad 
concept, but there are so many individual atomic things that to be a great musician, you really need to know. You need to know your key signatures and recognize them immediately uh, by, by visual. You need to maybe in, uh, recognize an interval by your ear. And so there could be a flashcard where the, the cue is just, you know, bomb, bomb, and we ask you what interval was that? And so many other little bite-sized pieces that together, if you are seeing them in a pattern uh, that uh, spaces out each each mm -hmm. repetition in the interval that you need, you're, you're optimizing your personal learning stream. And that's really the, the concepts that Brainscape fuses together from cognitive science to help you learn faster. Yeah, I think I think that's amazing. I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of curious, you know, what solutions um, did you discover? Like when you started developing the Brainscape platform, obviously you knew that that it wasn't just about learning languages, but as you've shared, and obviously we're, we're gonna continue to share our story on how we partnered with Brainscape because we love you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, what was sort of the, the de deciding factor when you went, you know what, I'm going to create this Brainscape platform so that others can use this brain science? Uh, well, it was really when I was in Panama when that Excel spreadsheet went viral. So I, I knew I really wanted to pursue this, at least in an academic sense. Uh, but when I was graduating from my master's program at Columbia, I, I made the, the concept of Brainscape, you know, the focus of my thesis and my master's project. Uh, and we did an experiment with uh, focus groups of students where uh, half of them had to learn their uh, 50 top national birds. Uh, using regular paper flashcards, and then 50 of them, uh, or sorry, half the students used the Brainscape, the prototype, to learn their 50 national birds, and then took a post test after 30 minutes of study. Wow. And it turned out that the people who used Brainscape performed more than twice as well on the post test than those who used paper flashcards. In fact, the very best score of the people who used paper flashcards was worse than the worst score of the people that <laughs> use the Brainscape prototype. So we thought, man, if if this is the benefits of learning uh, yeah. accrued in just 30 minutes, you know, imagine if you're if you're learning hundreds or thousands of concepts spread over many weeks or months, the accrued exponential benefits of learning efficiency uh, were just insane. So that was that was enough for me to. Mm -hmm. um, kind of jump off the cliff. I was I was working in um, in consulting on Wall Street at the time as well and e-learning, uh, but uh, it was it was justification enough for me to you know start begging and borrowing and stealing from uh, friends and family and getting angel investors and and hiring good software developers to start bringing it to life. Yeah, it's it's an amazing amazing platform, um, and I know you're a metrics. A driven guy, <laughs> yeah. and you enjoyed the cognitive science. Um, I wanted to mention that um, you can learn more uh, about Brainscape at brainscape.com. And I want to share that when I first came across the Brainscape education platform, I was absolutely blown away with the Brainscape system and how it helps people learn more efficiently. And um, one of the things I think that I was so in love with was that it was an opportunity for music students and teachers to share their passion of learning. And so now we could actually do it through the mobile device because oftentimes, you know, you want to study, you're sitting in the car, you're waiting for something. How can you, you know, keep learning? So we actually partnered with Brainscape to develop the ultimate music theory flashcard subjects to learn the language of music theory. And as you said, you know, Andrew, you can now develop your ear training, your sight reading skills. You can study anywhere, even if you don't have an instrument. And you can actually get all the details for that at music theory app dot com. I wanted to share a little bit and hopefully you can see one of the things that we were passionate about was providing education and based on the subjects and of course they move through as the ultimate music theory program progresses. So for example, if you're doing the basic rudiments workbook, you can actually pull up the Brainscape Ultimate Music Theory Flashcards app on your phone. I've got it ready for you here. You can see all of your subjects and I'm in basic. So I'm going to tap on basic. And then I'm going to study intervals because we've actually have 7,000 flashcards, including audio. And you simply start studying. So there we will have it. We can actually hear the interval. And as Andrew said, you simply tap and then 
you self assess your your answer. And I think one of the things in creating these, Andrew, is that we really saw massive success in our own students. And speaking of success as musicians, Andrew, <laughs> going to throw you a little curveball because I understand that you've made the occasional attempt to play the piano and I want to know how that's going. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's actually guitar. Oh, guitar. Uh, okay, sorry. <laughs> guitar. Uh, yeah, but the, the principles, you know, of learning and, and practicing are, are obviously the same, right? The, the space repetition of, okay, great, I know how to play, you know, an A chord and an E chord, right. but if I don't practice them when they're fresh and they're new, if I don't practice them within a couple of days, I'm probably gonna gonna forget. Um, so early on, you need to practice the transition from A to C, you know, as often as you can, and then maybe you can afford to go a week or three weeks, uh, or then three months before really practicing that, or then you don't even need to because it's so internalized. Yes. Uh, so what I actually did is I, I created a Brainscape deck of flashcards for myself um, of all the exercises that I wanted to to do, and I would I would sit there with the flashcards next to me while I played. And so a, a thing would come up and it would say, all right, now, you know, now practice the minor pentatonic scale in position one, uh, up and down. Um, and I would rate my confidence, you know, how well do I feel like I was able to do that with my eyes closed, how fast, and then, ah, I give myself a two. And yeah. so it would ask me more often to do that exercise. Whereas if it was, you know, going from the A to the C chord and I internalized that Years ago, yeah, that's a five. Don't bother that again for a year or maybe ever. Right. Uh, so, wh whatever you're studying, whether it's whether it's the the theory part or even the the musical instrument part yourself, Brainscape is just such a flexible tool. And, and as as Gloria kind of alluded to earlier, you know, not only do we have a marketplace of all this content from foreign languages to medical school prep to, to music theory. But you can also create your own content right. for yourself, for your students. If you can collaborate, create it in a web browser, you access it on mobile. It's just one big uh, collaborative ecosystem for, uh, for any content in the world uh, delivered in a way that is optimized for your brain's fastest retention. Yeah. And I think one of the things I loved about it, too, is that you can use it on your phone, you can use it on your computer, whether you're PC or Mac. So being, um, you know, web based, it you have access to it in, in many different areas. Plus, it also syncs. So if you're studying on your phone, and then you come over to your computer, um, it's still going to give you those same results. So you can kind of continue going. And I think at Brainscape, the learning scientists have actually broken down all of the key music theory concepts. And as you said, they are the fundamental building blocks and organize them so that it's customized to the student's brain pace of learning. And I found too, when I'm using the, um, the Brainscape app with my students and they're doing whatever subject they're on, basic or intermediate rudiments and doing intervals, whatever ear training, that they actually love to do the self-assessment. Like for them, it's really fun to say on a scale of one to five, I think that was a two or I think that was a three. And we do, and of course the color changes around the flashcard and so they start to understand exactly how the Brainscape platform works and I think what we really want to share and I've got um, we're welcome to comments and things I've, I've got a couple of comments here I should pop up just to say hi to uh, people who have joined us today brain science thanks Larissa um, one of the things that we wanted to provide for teachers and um, Andrew and I have been chatting about this is that oftentimes we have a full studio of um, music students. So you can go to musictheoryapp.com and get all of the details there. But if you're interested in doing a um, project with your school, uh, can you elaborate a little more, Andrew, on, on how we're going to help teachers sort of coordinate that within their studios? Sure. So if you have a group of students, whether it's five students or 500 students, and you want to give all of them access to Brainscape. And not only that, but you want to be able to see on a, on a dashboard how much are each of my students studying? You know, am I getting my money's worth? Uh, are, are they uh, struggling in a certain area? You could even drill down and see you know, what area that they're having the most trouble with. Um, you can, in fact, you can email me directly. Glory can, uh, okay. can post uh, my address uh, or email Glory. And, uh, We'll, we'll make sure to connect you with the right people to, to make that happen. Uh, yeah. And as Corey said, you know, the, the students, you know, not only do they do they enjoy learning better, you know, they like the technology, 
but, yeah. but really they, they, they like being trusted by a software to assess themselves. There's not really any other stuff. There's a million games out there where you pick the right answer and maybe you pick option C and you were lucky and it says good job and you earn some points or whatever. But you know, are you are you really using this to manage your your learning, reflect on how well you know something? And, and that's just such an important mental skill to develop, especially for, for some of the younger students. You know, really learning how to be honest with yourself. Like, do I know this? Do I feel like I, I, I'm knocking this out of the park? Uh, and if I am, I don't need to study. But if I'm not, like I need to be honest with myself and know I need to I need to do the hard work to practice this thing that sucks and it's uncomfortable. But I'm still a one or a two, and until I feel better, I shouldn't proceed. So it's it's a mastery based learning where you're always kind of at the cusp of of your skill level. Yeah, absolutely. And um, if you're watching live or if you're watching the replay, uh, you can simply add in the chat box studio license and then we'll send you um, all of the e uh, information uh, direct to Andrew or myself so that you can uh, get all the information that you need. So you can just put in the chat uh, studio license and we'll make sure to follow up with you. I, I sort of I, I'm wondering, you know, you've created this masterpiece, Andrew, in, in Brainscape. Uh, where do you go from here? So are, like what's next? For you so if you were to search the brainscape marketplace right now um, you, you see a, a giant index of, of just about every subject in the English language that you can drill down there's firefighting certifications there's nursing there's, there's everything uh, the majority though it's it's user generated um, it's you know whatever users create it's kind of in the marketplace unless you upgrade and make it private um, and you know, there's a lot of it that's good. It's a lot of it that's that's crappy, and <laughs> and you don't necessarily um, know. You know, can I trust this? Maybe the person has a bio. Um, we have also 40 premium um, subject areas, and we're expanding upon them. One of which being ultimate music theory. Um, we we do this with partnerships, um, and we are we're revving up our engine for for partnerships and content development. So a greater and greater percentage of all that content that you find out there has the one flagship, you know, this is the most trustworthy, you know, nursing exam yes. uh, subject area because we partnered with these experts or with this publishing company. So our, our long-term vision is to have trustworthy premium content that is optimized for the best learning for every subject on the planet in every country and every language. And we're like one-tenth of a percent of the way there right now. Wow, that it's and you know I think in in this day and age too, with with almost every you know young person has a smartphone or or has access to obviously to the internet. So for them to go on and say, hey, you know, I want to study a subject, whether it's language, like you have really developed a platform for e-learning on all subjects, everything from you know music theory, as you said, to languages, to nursing, to you name it you know, you can learn it. It's easy. And um, I'm just really excited that we were able to partner with you and and take the um, musictheoryapp.com to the level that we have. And we're certainly looking forward to connecting with teachers and helping them get the uh, music theory um, brainscape within their studio so that they can see the results of their students because that's really important andrew and i'm glad that they can actually assess and say hey you know you told me you're doing your homework i can see all of these things so it's a great a great platform for teachers too so i want to say thanks for creating that and sharing that with us um how i actually came across brainscape too and one of the things you mentioned andrew was um you can develop your own flashcards, which I thought was really cool. And one of our ultimate music theory certified teachers, her name is Adrian, and she was actually creating, struggling with, but creating the odd little flashcard. And she said, you've got to check this out, brainscape.com. They're amazing. And it's really, when I found you, and it was through uh, Adrian, um, you know, a UMT certified teacher, and she said, this is going to be a powerhouse. And it certainly has been. So I just want to say thanks for the great partnership. And I think it's a lot of fun for teachers and students to go, okay, I have my app. I have my ultimate music theory book. I can get into studying and learning. And um I think it's going to be fantastic. I'm looking forward to teachers getting on board with um, the program that you're creating for them where they can actually um, use this within their studio because that's, that's it. I think, a key, especially for schools that are big and they want to make sure that they can see the results of their students. Amen.
Yeah. <laughs> well, I want to say thank you so much, Andrew. Uh, again, you can go to musictheoryapp.com, get all the details specifically about Ultimate Music Theory, and uh, just get on board with that. And also check out brainscape.com because they have lots of subjects you may want to learn about and also create your own. So I want to thanks again, Andrew, for sharing with us. And uh, we'll see you. Uh, you're definitely a five out of five, Andrew. Oh, <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> All right. You have yourself a great day. Thanks, everybody. You too.